What is happening there, Reject Nation? John and Greg have returned for another Marvel show, and we got this guy to do a one-off with us for this whole series, Koi Jandro, our comic book expert. Follow him. He is committing to the Midnight Shows with us. Thank you so much, Koi. You're a big Hawkeye fan, right? Huge Hawkeye fan. I dressed as Hawkeye for the first Avengers film. No, oh, nice. Aww. Back when I was a fan, I came to the premiere as Hawkeye. Was it because it was cost-effective? Because it it's cheaper than being Iron process. Man? Yeah. Not yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> called out, but I'm immediately, that's true. Please go ahead and uh, hit that target of a like button. Boost it. Subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our next reaction for Hawkeye is up. Full length watch songs where you sync up with the show are over at our Patreon page. Over there, I cover a bunch of shows with the same tier. You get the option for both reaction highlights and watch longs included. Lastly, thank you to the boys over at Prepper for adding down these highlights. I'm very much excited for this. I'm like three issues away from finishing that Matt Fraction run. Koi's read it and is, is like one issue away from, from the rereading it. Yeah. John's a few issues in right now. We gotta let all that go and just accept whatever it is they're doing here. It's not just gonna be a big comparison one, but we did some of our homework. Anywho, let's see what's in store. Twitch Love Avengers! Turn around and everything will be fine. Little Kate Bishop? Mm hmm. Do you want to? Who are we kidding? You go. Kate and her have an estranged relationship. <laughs> Very from Iga, always fighting with her kids. I <laughs> know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Except in Conjure. <laughs> I don't want to move. That much, huh? We don't have to. How do you know? Mommy said things don't just fall from the sky. <laughs> it's 2012. Like about <laughs> to fall from the sky. <laughs> the Shatari come in through the window. What's happening? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Daddy, where are you? Oh, no. Dad, Daddy, where are you? Mommy? Oh. I already got nipple chills. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, Clint. Oh, the shot. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that you're getting this perspective. Oh, that's awesome. This looks bad. I need to protect us. Kate, that's my job, okay? Whatever you need, I'm here for you. I need a bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's just David Aha art. This is beautiful. yeah, wow. I didn't realize just the the how similar it was gonna be. Damn. <laughs> yes. That's right. Tony Dalton's in this show. I love the whimsical music. Like, there's this underscore, but also the the Tim Burtony whimsy yeah. of, of Christmas. It's crazy. You got all her core memory wounds all in one scene. Right. I thought it was great to like actually, sometimes I feel like when we revisit the 2012 events, it's like just shots from the movie. Yeah, it's like, those I was really like cool. these are all yeah. new shots. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you gotta dress the part. I know it's a bet, but are you sure that arrow won't damage it? No. <laughs> Hang on. Let me just fix this, give me a second. Dude, Haley Steinfeld is so perfectly cast for this role. Mm -hmm. It's insane how perfect she is. <laughs> I bet that's going to be recurring like in the comic. That's great. <laughs> Back muscles tense. <laughs> Exhale. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not great, but it could be worse. <laughs> yeah, it's worse all right. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd, I'd go. Hey. 
Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> like she sounds just like how I'd imagine Kate to sound. It's incredible. It's insane how accent, like accurate it is. Is. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. He can't hear? Oh, he already lost his hearing. Yeah. Did you turn your hearing aid off? Yo, honey, I know. I know what happens. <laughs> 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 Dude, it sounds like exactly what they would make. <laughs> this is the Spider-Man musical in New York. I was gonna say, great. let's it's turn like... turn off the dark in a play in this. But they did it. Good for all. They gotta of release those that. They gotta yeah. release that. We like, need that full clip, yeah. like the Zemo clip, the whole thing. That. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Well, you look amazing. Melisandre? <laughs> Security auction. Ugh. You know, right? All those poor people and nonprofits relying on the more fortunate. That is not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a much longer talk about this tower that you destroyed without joking. I know that young people think they're invincible and rich people think they're invincible, and you have always been both, so. <laughs> <laughs> you will get hurt. So please, don't go out looking for it. It's Simba. <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the swords, Mom? <laughs> there have been a few changes while you're away this semester. Telephone. Uh, Jack! <laughs> oh, is it gonna be the swordsman? Yeah. That's great! Yeah. How was the show? It was, it was, uh... It's over. It's, it was big. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. <laughs> Hold your brother's hands. I love you guys. Love you too. It's going to be the best bargain Christmas ever. All right? Ain't nothing bad going to happen today. No foreshadowing here. Yeah. <laughs> it's necessary. You saved our city. Oh. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Accept the perks, man. You're not a superhuman. <laughs> you just had to sit through that play, bro. Yeah. Except the win. You got a family to feed. <laughs> Excuse me, dear. Would you... Sorry, I'm not a waitress. You're the little bishop girl. Oh. Thought he called her a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a little bitch girl. I'd appreciate it if you wear something a little more ladylike for the wedding so we won't be competing. What wedding? You don't know. Oof. Ellen and Jack. God. Those oh, yeah. secretive little lovebird. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you first. I'm sorry. I'm going to go get some air, Mom. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> then come back and find me, okay? Yeah. Maybe tell everyone at your party, you know, like. You know, navigate. <laughs> daughter doesn't know no, yet, so why don't you just keep a, a secret? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Already pizza dog? Ah. She gets him. Oh, oh pizza his dog. eyes already messed already up. Lost the eye, yeah. That's probably. We're not going to see the origin of how he got his eye messed up on his Disney ship. Could be a flashback. <laughs> he better get his own episode. Don't want to mess with you. Armand. I think they'd have that conversation with the door closed. <laughs> Mom, what was that about? Is that guy threatening you? I honestly, I, I have no idea. Right there. All right. 
She is such a gay mission for totally right. Like every moment of like, how did they pluck her out of the <laughs> Yeah, she's perfect. Yeah, they're thanking their lucky star, she said yes. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good thing she looks just like the waiters. Convenient. The joke paid off. <laughs> the auction. This seat is taken. Let's sit on my lap. <laughs> we'll start the bidding for this magnificent skull at $2 million. Do I hear $2 million? Two million, better better looking at 2.1. I've got two million, do I hear 2.1? This is the slowest talking auctioneer I've ever heard. Should've called me. Oh, great. I thought you're the only one working here. Uh, Gary? Gary sent me to work here? Uh, so I mean, if you, if you wanna bother Gary. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you to come down here? Gary. I'm Gary. <laughs> What's your That's name? That's an actual you see, Gary. That's the problem, Gary. You don't even know my name. <laughs> this, is, I'm, this is not going to work out. I quit. You, you can't quit. Hold on. You can't quit. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Grab a bottle while you're in there. It's got to be all at least like 50 to 100 years old. <laughs> Evil wine. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> An artifact recovered from the wreckage of the Avengers oh. compound. Oh. Oh. oh, Ronin sword. Oh, Ronin blade. They called him Ronin. Yeah. 250. Thank you, sir. Do I hear 300? 300 looking for 350. What are you doing, you dope? Combine that Do sword. You got a thing for swords. So for $475,000. Up next, we have lot number 309, the companion piece, the Ronin suit. Ooh, yeah, get that cape. Oh! oh. I have no idea who that is. The villain? Yeah. No, I can't tell yet. Yeah. I don't even have an idea. <laughs> Maybe it's there an inside go, job. Mr. Swordsman. <laughs> the, the bros! Tracksuit, yeah, tracksuit okay. bros. Yeah. I don't know why you go there. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I assume. It just showed them a couple of times. Well, you know, you could add a higher up figure, so. Damn. It's Kingpin. We've got 90 seconds to find a watch. Everything else is secondary. Let's go, bro. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Put on the suit. Hello. <laughs> oh, ouch. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Strong glass. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Yes! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love how much struggles are in her voice the whole time. Yeah. yeah. She's such a tiny. <laughs> Nice, nice. Watch. I found it. <laughs> hey. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. <laughs> wow. Oh. Jack's got to know that it was her in the costume, right? Got to. Yeah. Check it out. A ninja saved a dog. (laughs) (laughs) 
he was rodent. <laughs> I was say, there are your Avengers movie flashbacks. <laughs> Later period flashbacks. Food. You want food? Uh, of course. Oh. Uh, okay. Listen. The dog. Listen. Hang on. I'm gonna um, get you some food. Uh, the pizza dog. Ha! <laughs> origin story. <laughs> there it is, the most origin story. Come on. Yeah, come on. Wow. I like pizza. Whole box for that one pizza. Monogrammed butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> Rich people, man. <sighs> Get out of there. Yeah. Good old Christmas murder mystery. Huh. The van, bro. No. Oh, shit. Come on, hot wire that. Oh, yeah, oh. my boy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and who the hell are you? Episode one. Oh, <laughs> a great place to end episode one. Yes. Lovely. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Consulting, Consulting for producer, producer Matt Fraction. Fraction. What? Nice. <laughs> that explains a lot. All right. First episode down. They already released a second episode. So obviously the intention is for us to watch both back to back. So we're going to keep this very brief. Let's start with let's start John. I mean, I had a blast with this. I loved the introduction just to, you know, where we're meeting Kate, where we're meeting Clint after, you know, a certain amount of time. I enjoyed the cutting back and forth between them and sort of building up just, yeah, where we're meeting them until they finally collide at the end. I really love just getting to know Haley Steinfeld's version of Kate Bishop. I agree with every sentiment you guys have thrown out that, yeah, I mean, she seems like the perfect choice for this. Great supporting cast thus far. Uh, I can't wait to watch the second one. Coy! I mean, this is a Ryan Reynolds, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans level casting choice. These, This is plucked from the comic book. Yeah. Haley Steinfeld is Kate Bishop. I enjoy the preposterousness of wealth they're kind of playing with here because that really ties into the dichotomy between her and Clint. I've liked that they've made some choices about certain instances that happened to Clint have happened to Kate. A lot of the things that we've seen so far were a Hawkeye story. They're now using this way because Hawkeye in the comic book's in a different place in his life than Hawkeye in the movie. So I think that's been a clever use of the youth of Kate Bishop. And I've really enjoyed the fact that it's felt like this is like a 70-30 split with Kate and Clint and they're both Hawkeye. And that's so important to me with the comic book. So the fact that the show is giving us a very introductory origin of Kate Bishop, it doesn't feel like it's shying away from the fact that we have two Hawkeyes coming out of the show. I'm really liking the 70-30 split so far. 70-30 meaning like 70% Kate. 70% Kate, 30% yeah. Clint. I was actually surprised by that. I was surprised by how it was so Kate focused and Clint was barely in this episode. He was like barely in it. Yeah, it might be 80-20. <laughs> yeah, it might be 90-10. <laughs> was he in it? Yeah. Did you guys see the cameo from Did Hawkeye? I just want to think he's in it? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's really smart of them. And I'm enjoying that tone for me. Yeah, I mean, I like the opening a lot. I'm waiting for the second episode. I am. Because there's some parts of it that felt a tad off to me. I'm not sure what it is yet. It's not my favorite first episode of Marvel TV. Okay, what I'm about to say is a thing I like a lot about it. But then with that, there's also some things within it that I... I'm not the biggest fan of just yet, so I'm kind of waiting to see how the groove goes with it. I love the choice to make this feel so much like a Christmas show. It's not just a Christmas background, like the way how, you know, people compare it to Die Hard, which is like, Christmas is happening in the background. <laughs> and Shane Black often, Christmas is happening in the background. Shane, it's in the foreground, sir. It's in the it's foreground, in the it's in conversations, yeah. it's in the music choices, it's but in the character directives, felt, it's in the objective. This feels like a Christmas movie. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> this feels way more. <laughs> Or this doesn't have as much of the grit of a Shane Black thing. Obviously, you wouldn't get that on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> this feels like a Disney Christmas movie in a lot of ways. Yeah. Which was, I was a little bit surprised by. From beginning to end, almost every scene has 
a holiday vibe to it. Not just in its aesthetic, but just in the way it's being shot, the music that they're using throughout. Sometimes it makes it feel like a little more cheesy than I actually expected it to feel. With certain parts of like Kate's interactions with other people, like I think Vera Farmiga is, is awesome in here. And I think they're totally gonna change her to be a villain, which... I think she's Madame Mask. Yeah, there, Corey said it. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. It's very much. <laughs> I don't want to dove too into it in case because it's like it could be a big spoiler if that's true. I don't know what you're talking about. Right? Who's but, that? Ah, screw it. We already said it. <laughs> probably Comic good. book credibility is way more important than anyone's enjoyment to the show. <laughs> yeah. We gotta prove that we're smart. This episode in particular was like, oh man, I, I really... Because I heard a couple people say that they think she might turn into Madame Mask. I was watching this, I'm like, oh, she's probably totally Madame Mask. <laughs> Some nefariousness <laughs> yeah. in every encounter we see her in. And Swordsman, I didn't expect in the, in the opening. I mean, they didn't even really do much other than to allude that, hey, what's his sword doing here? Him and her friend. That's the swordsman. That man has a mustache. That's a swordsman mustache. And, but I'm wondering if they're going to retcon his origin story because it's so tied in to Clint. To Clint's. Yeah, because the thing is, it's really easy to look at stuff and go, oh, that's neat how they're pulling from the comic. Oh, that's neat how they're changing. It's not exactly how Hawkeye or Clint, I should say, Clint and Kate met in the comics. It's not 100%. But there's some things about it that are fairly similar enough. You know? I'm really trying for like the buddy copies yeah, of it. Because she stole his costume and shit, so that's very Yeah, weird. yeah. It's but, a different costume. But you got to take it on its own merits and what they're presenting itself to and and I think like what they the way they establish the tone like this really does feel like it's a show about family and it does take place during Christmas it felt surprisingly I, you know what it is it felt lighter than I expected it to but I don't know if that's a bad thing you know I, I see that I personally thought it would be a little more of the uh, yee, Hawkeye tone. Like I thought it'd be a little lighter actually. I thought it'd be like, you know the scene in Age of Ultron where he's making quips and jokes all the time and it's kind of yeah. like he's the, uh, so it's actually a little darker than I expected but it's also very Christmassy. So it's an interesting tone so far. I'm waiting for the action to dazzle me. Cause I thought the action in this episode was serviceable but in a show that is, is centered around two people who just have really, really honed skills and abilities. I feel like that could pack a little more oomph. Like all the fights are fine, the choreography is fine. I'm still waiting. In this show for a moment where I'm like, yeah, yeah. some real Hawkeye action. I mean, we're going to watch the second episode and a big charm to what this show has to be is the chemistry between the buddy cop. Yeah, the buddy cop dynamic. So I've been itching for that. You know who does that well? Shane Black with his Christmas movies. I agree. Boy, <laughs> Jesus. All right. When we saw the trailer, the first thing I said was like, this is like a Shane Black movie. But it felt more like, do you He's get it? My boy. Do you get He's it all where I'm coming from here? <laughs> this episode didn't really feel like Shane Black to me. This felt more like, a Christmas movie to me. It feels like a Disney Channel original movie. Yes, yes, like. yes. And that's yes. not an insult, but in a way that feels like a Disney Channel Christmas thing. I get you. I don't know. I'm waiting for something a little bit more with a bit more of an umph to it. I don't really even know what I anticipated for this show. I just expected like a good Marvel show. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're getting about what I would have anticipated at the start, you know, and I think yeah. it's a really solid foundation. Man, right now I think it's good. I wouldn't say great, although you, if the second episode really clicks, that's why they're, I think there's yeah. a reason they release two. There's a reason, personally. there's a, uh, yeah, usually when they do that, I'm like, it feels kind of weird to sit here and talk because I'm like, I would kind of treat the first and second episode like one episode. Yeah, yeah I feel like it's going to be a two hour movie like, we're about to experience. Is there a point in us really sitting here and discussing the first episode? No, because, I yeah. think you should judge a whole series based on the pilot. <laughs> on the, on yeah. the pilot. Oh, no. we're done, right? No, okay, watch, cool. Not watch the progression of how it all went down. No. But I do think Haley Steinfeld is perfectly cast. Like, even when she has the mask on, when she's like talking with Lucky the pizza dog, it sounds like thought bubbles are going off. Yes. She carries the model logging so well like the thinking out loud so well and her little quips and her little digs are so oh. kate bishop because kate bishop's always got those little like last boops yes and i like that uh this version that we've gotten teased of clint like when he's around his family he looks really happy but you can see on his little isolated looks he's, he does seem really sad internally and there's a bit of an apathetic nature to his presence and i like seeing that version of clint and i feel like jeremy renner is going to give some really good stuff because whenever you cut to jeremy renner i was like yeah jeremy and, and i think i do think i kind of I wish we got a little bit more of him in the first episode. I did find myself kind of wanting occasionally to cut back to him. I felt like we needed a Kate Bishop origin, so it didn't distract me, but I see where you're coming from. Yeah, I think I think I think we need a Kate Bishop origin too. John, how are you feeling? You in the middle? <laughs> are, you, uh, are you on Koi side or something here? I was pretty fine with the proportions that they did here. I mean, I, I get where you're coming from because there is a certain element of Clint is mostly only doing family stuff, mm -hmm. and, and then at the end he jumps in, and there's like not a ton of a transition to that. 
so I could have maybe used maybe one more scene or something between them getting back to their hotel and him coming out to find her. But see, I'm wondering if the second episode is going to be like really Clint perspective. Because the comic yeah. does that that's really well. Yeah. Yeah. Like the comic does a really good job making it so the other is the supporting character, and that's why I love that they're like Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Like there's this great like we are Hawkeye that it feels like the comic understands that in a way that it's like an, a 70, 30, 80, 20 split with each issue, and they yeah. pivot. So I'm curious if the show does that, and if we get a pizza dog episode. I hope so. Man, I hope okay. so. But did we really get a Kate origin? Because I'm like, how is she who she is? Because she's training. a black belt of 15. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got for her. Yeah, she's <laughs> snarky and rich. <laughs> and she's into Archer and teach. Archer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we saw, we saw, we got the exposition version. We got to hear about it. <laughs> but what I really did... And the graphics. I'm not saying it's a complaint. I'm saying that I think there's still more to unpack there. I do really like the, like the origin of her in the very opening scene, like how it was a wonder shot exploring all that, seeing like the day her dad died. It was also the day she saw Hawkeye as the savior. Yeah. You know, so wanting to embody that role, I thought was great. Everything they do with like Kate specifically, and I think Vera Farmiga is also really wonderful here. Like she weaves in and out of this personality so seamlessly in between scenes. Like she seems like a real mom to her. Mm -hmm. And then she seems like, oh, she, you know, I like the, the sneaking suspicions that you have about her. She gets stern at the appropriate moments. Like she has a lot of qualities going on that I think Vera Farm, that like only an actress like Vera Farmiga's caliber can actually pull off because she's one of the best actresses working today. So I really like her a lot. And I like, it's like, that's what I mean. It's like, nothing I don't really like about it. I was like, I, I can't quite pinpoint what it is that was a little off for me. But we'll see. Maybe it doesn't even matter. Let's watch the second episode. Let's watch the second episode. Let's watch the second episode. What the hell are we doing here? Yeah. Let's just watch the second episode. In real life, if there was not a camera pointer at us, we would have just watched the first two back to back. And we would have just judged it you. off that. Yeah. Everything we were saying in the episode one, like the first 10 minutes, I was like, yeah, this is already making all of episode one a lot better. It's just weird being the one guy who's like. I was like, I gave it like a, like it's not the best for it's me. A it's a solid like a, start, but it's. Has yeah, guys, make me feel better. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I mean, validate like, my emotions <laughs> and my perspective. Make you feel it's, better, it's guys. Of, I really enjoyed this. It's not the strongest pilot, but it's a good jumping off point. Let's build on it. So, I think I'm so, so far, it's between. Uh, I'm like, so I'm so One Vision and Black, uh, uh, Captain Winter Soldier for me. Like it's not Loki, which was like transcendent TV, and it's yeah. not as low as What If, but it's like in that midrange. <laughs> it didn't do anything um, special for me. That's probably what it is. It's like I, there was nothing special about this episode to me. Nothing Britain. that you haven't seen before in the MCU in, the, in any way. But what I like about the way how Kate fights, though, even though the fights weren't all that impressive from the start, she has to get better. Everyone has to get better. Mm -hmm. But. What I liked was the sounds of her struggling yeah, throughout. Right. Was like, oh, that's kind of like watching a video game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really bought it as her. Like, I yes, some people, but I felt like, oh, that's Haley Steinfeld, and she probably did a fair amount of her own stuff because she's a boss. She wasn't just someone who was like just handling business like a total lethal warrior. Was like right out of nowhere. Like you really felt like the. I, I like when there's like a performance to the fighting of like she's. You really feel like she's improvising all this you, as she's going. You yeah. felt the smallness of her. <laughs> yes, which I yeah. mentioned at one point. Like yeah. she seems like a small. 90 pound person fighting these bros yeah. well yeah and even in the costume it's like uh, it's I appreciate that it's not quite well fitting on her like it's a little ill fitting because it's not her build it's not yeah. her costume so you know like I think I think that in some ways could contribute to it looking a little funky but also I think it also adds an authenticity <laughs> yeah true you true know? true I also like that most of the things we've seen in the trailer we've seen in the first episode that's so now hard. we're getting into new stuff. Yeah. They really brought the tracksuit. Tracksuit mafia to life. With the quick. They say bro. All right, guys. Keep a lookout for our next reaction. We'll probably upload it like a little bit after this. Oh, okay. Subscribe. Click that notification bell. Hit that like button. Jason Dolan. He's a man who's easily the best one to shout out for this. Because in a lot of ways, he is Clint Barton. And he has his own Kate Bishop named Kazzy Reacts. Kazzy Reacts is an awesome YouTube channel, does wonderful reactions, hilarious, sincere, genuine. You'd think that with all the skills and personality that Jason Dolan has, that he would be the star of his own show. But no, he's going to make Kazzy take over the mantle, which he's already done so, so successfully. So guys, if I'm shouting out Jason, that means I'm really shouting out 
Kazzy reacts. Go check out her channel. On a sincere note, it's, it is really, they're really great videos and they are really funny. And uh, sometimes I cry because she's crying. Yeah, if you're looking for some genuine reactions, go check her out. As far as Jason goes, he's kind of an asshole, but he's the kind of asshole you love. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The kind of asshole where you're like, you know, I can tell there's a heart underneath all that tough exterior. So what more can you ask for from a guy? Jason, I like you, buddy. Kazzy. I love you, girl. Greg, I like editing these down.